everybody, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today, I don't know if you guys remember the Magic School Bus. I'm hoping you do, because it was one of my favorite shows as a kid on, I think it was PBS or something. Um, but the Magic School Bus was great, and I learned so much about the human body and science and germs. And I loved it. It really fueled my love for science as I grew. So when I saw a STEM-based product, science, magic school bus, I thought, holy cow, I have to have it. I've got to see what this is all about. So I'm super excited about this one. It's the typical yellow magic school bus, but it's got all these different um, experiments about making a soda can submarine, solar panels, making pasta dance, uh, learning about gravity, solar ovens, balloon racer, colors that absorb light, balloon jets. I mean, it's just endless. There's so many things going on in this cool little box. And then it's, you know, from the one Young Scientist Club, recommended for five and older. So this is a younger age group science kit, which you don't see very often. A lot of them are eight and older. A lot of them that I've played with you guys have been eight and older. So I like to see the younger kids also encouraged to join so now how do you get this box open oh okay so a data notebook white glue there's some stickers so I've got some popsicle sticks paper cup a flashlight medicine cup and white glue and then these connectors and metal pieces Let's see what else we've got here we've got some balloons cardboard circles solar panel tubing some flexi straws chopsticks clothespin and some string and some tin foil, paper, black and white. And now here are our experiment cards. All right, so as part of our magic school bus, one of the cards was for dancing pasta, which tells us to put water in a cup or a jar like what I have here and then use the measuring cup included to add 10 mls of baking soda to the jar. I'm going to try to do this without making a giant mess. There we go. It's about right. Now you're going to stir up all the baking soda till it's dissolved. I'm going to take the lid off of this. That's a little easier to There's that. And then you're going to add some pasta. Now I have elbows here, which are rather small, so I don't think I have to break them. The instructions said to make sure that they're in small pieces. So can see my pasta going in. Now, good old vinegar. We're going to add vinegar to the solution and watch what happens. Oh my goodness. Don't think it was supposed to go quite like that. But you can see it's making all the uh, pasta float up. There you go. Carbonation caused by the baking soda and the vinegar makes the pasta dance, thus dancing pasta. This science kit brought me some really good childhood memories back of Miss Frizzle and the gang from the Magic School Bus. I love that it pretty much has everything in it that you need to complete the experiments. You have to supply some things, water, sunlight, um, and just a few things here and there, but the directions are good about telling you which ones you need to supply. And it's not like so many other science kits that I've played with where 
it's most of the stuff. This has all that like highly specific, like the electrodes, the solar power, the tin foil, the dark colored papers, the um, the tubing, the popsicle sticks. I mean, it's got most of what you need in this nice little concise box that also reminds me of yesteryear by its shape. So hopefully you guys had fun with me today and exploring the Magic School Bus Science Kit. I did have fun and there's so much to do. This is a great buy because it's not only relatively inexpensive, but it has multiple playtimes and learning opportunities throughout. So thank you, Magic School Bus. So guys, if you want to be here for more science-based STEM or STEAM-based toys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of our scientific Toy Notes family. Give us a big thumbs up and check us out at ToyNotes.com. But until next time, bye-bye.